Okay, let's see the basic sounds of the conga. The most basic sounds with which we will bind the rhythms of the course are the following. First of all, we have the bass. Then we have the medium that we do with this technique. This technique consists of dividing the hand in two parts, the upper and the lower. So we alternate one hit with the top and one hit with the bottom. It is important to have this move mastered. An interesting exercise to practice is to do this with one hand and with the other and also do this. Okay. Finally, we have the high or slap sound. This sound is the most difficult and it will take you a while to get it out. It consists of striking, striking intensely with one hand while the, while the other press the skin. It is time and patience and practice. This is the typical way of playing the conga, but also there is another way of playing which I call open hand style. In the open hand style we do the medium like this. So, like the bass, but weak. And we do the high hit without the other hand pressing the pad. So, it's like this. Okay, bass, high, bass, medium, high, bass, medium, that, that is an, an interesting exercise to practice the sounds uh, in the open hand style. The high hit in this way is the most difficult because we don't help with the other hand, this hand. So, it's the hit that will take you the longest time the, to learn. In this course, f first of all, I will play the rhythm of the, tr the traditional way at a medium speed, for example. Okay? Then I will make it very slow so you can copy it while I say the name of each hit, for example. Bass, medium, 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 high, medium, medium, medium. Okay, if you want, you can write it on a paper. For example, you write bass, medium, 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 high, medium, medium, medium. Then I will play the reverse rhythm, that is the same rhythm but starting with the other hand. That is why it will be good for you to have the rhythm written on a paper. Practi practicing it in the reverse is good for developing the coordination, which are very important to improvise, but is optional. Finally, I will play the rhythm in the open hand style, starting from the right and then from the left, so like that. And with the left. In open hand mode, if, if we start with the right hand, then the left always comes. It is always right, left, right, left, right, left, or if we start with the left, is inverse, left, right, left, right, left, always, okay? I recommend you first learn the traditional mode, and then when you already know how to play the rhythms, you can write the rhythms on a piece of paper and practice them in reverse or with the open hand style. Beside, Besides, you can also substitute bass hits for hits on another conga, as I said in the promo video. I hope you enjoy, learn a lot and have a lot of passion and perseverance. Thank you very much.